Hello, my dear friends, and welcome! Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivana Tero. This is weekly tarot reading for Zodiacs and Virgo for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. So, my dear Virgos, welcome, welcome, welcome. New week is approaching, starting with this date, June 18th until 24th of June 2018. So you can see in front of my camera already there is your spread for love, love reading and there is another spread only for business, career, job, work, department. So I will start with career in a short and then I will talk about what you can expect when it comes to your love. Well, before I say anything at all guys, please go and watch weekly tarot reading for your rising sign and the moon sign if you want. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so first uh, uh, let me reveal uh, those three tarot cards for your career department in your life. So you already know how it goes. I reshuffle my tarot cards and you know then I will try to translate. Okay, uh, this tarot deck is very you. It's very simple to use because you know uh, everything is written. So, my dear Virgos, what I have for you: you are good at business, as you know, business and financial advisor. So, uh, this is basically uh, your career. Maybe something very similar to that. But anything uh, with the finances. Maybe this is your working. Um, in in an account business, maybe you work in a bank, uh, any type of financial advisor, maybe this is your current career, maybe this is your future career, never mind. As far as I can see, you are very, very good at it. Now, the next tarot card is do not overestimate your power. Maybe even now you are working too much. Maybe you are exhausted, you know. Maybe also you want to be paid more for your work. Maybe you try, uh, you know, to figure it out how you can work less but for more money. Maybe simply you are exhausted. Whatever it is, you know, try to keep your uh, health because your health is really your wealth. So try not to overestimate your power. Save some energy. Uh, for yourself, first of all, and save some energy for your family and, you know, for your free time. And the very last tarot card for business, money, career department, manager, new role in society. What that means? It means that maybe this is you going uh, high on a hierarchy level. So maybe you will get completely new role in society. Maybe this is you finishing uh, some education, maybe you already know that you will become a manager, maybe you will become a CEO or whatever. Anyway, those three tarot cards are saying that you are very skilled at what you're doing. Do not overestimate your power, save some energy for you and you. So many of you, either you will become a manager, promotion, or you might get like complete new role in society. So this is basically... Uh, the best uh, you can you can achieve in your lifetime, you know. So um, I don't know how in English I can describe, you know, better. I mean, you also can use imagination. I gave to you a couple of keywords, so you know you can work with it. You know, apply what I just said to you, apply to your life. New role in society could means uh, a lots of things, you know, uh, lots of things. Maybe this is you giving yourself completely new role in the world that you that you are living, you know. Maybe this is you saying, you know, I want more, I deserve more, you know. I want to do something else. So you maybe do not need to wait someone else to give you this new role in society. You can take it. I mean, guys, this is 21st century, you know. You can do whatever basically you want. Okay, 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 okay. Now, let us talk about love. Okay, so we have five tarot cards and we have two rows, meaning two layers. Now, first layer, tarot card, which is saying observe. So, honey, this is really what you need to do. You need to observe. Maybe this is you observing yourself in the mirror and seeing how beautiful you are. Or maybe this is you observing, you know, other people. What other people maybe have 
and you want you maybe do not have something but you want to have so this is you observing okay uh, I will connect meaning when I finally open all five tarot cards. Reveal, not open, but reveal. Okay, simply love. So this is basically what you want and what you need. You need simply love. Simple. Simple love. If you're single, maybe single mother, there is a big chance you might meet a single father. You see? This is basically what I think could happen quite very, 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 very easily. So this is a very loving man with his son or daughter. Maybe you already know who is this person. And maybe this is you observing already from afar. Because you want to be the part of this happy family. Maybe this is you asking yourself, mm, who is this man, you know, that I can see every single day in the park, you know, while you are playing uh, let's say with your daughter, you know, and this is, you know, and maybe, maybe you question yourself, you know, a couple of times, you know, who is this man? He's always, you know, alone with his son, maybe he's divorced or, you know, whatever. And could be the vice versa. Maybe this is a single, uh, you know, father looking at you somewhere in a park. Maybe this is your colleague, you know, but something is very similar, similar uh, to your uh, story and to his uh, life story. So this is observing each other. Now let me see what else I have for you guys. Seven of Cups, which is not very good tarot card because this tarot card talking about uh, disappointment and this is you thinking, uh, you know, how come everybody have, you know, someone. So, I mean, this is only inside of your head because this is not the truth. Not all of people are attached. You know, there are, there are millions of single people. So maybe you are just one of those men or women. But at this point, you think that you are the only one unhappy uh, woman. This is what you think. But this is not the truth, honey. This is not the truth, you know. So your loving, uh, you know, future partner is coming. Uh, most likely, I mean, could be this king of swords. Or for some of you, maybe this is you crying because of your current love partner. Could be uh, Aquarius, could be Libra, could be Gemini. Of course, could be any other astrological sign. Why you are so unhappy? Because there is a lack of communication between you and this person. Kind of, you know, you do not speak the exact same language. You know, kind of. Uh, one of you is speaking French and the other one is speaking, you know, Chinese. And you simply, you can see each other and even maybe care for each other. But you are not on the same page. You do not speak the same language. Guys, you know what I want to say. So either you will forgive something to him or maybe there is something he needs to forgive you. Whatever it is, communication is the key. So cheating on your partner is never a good idea. This uh, ain't gonna take you far away if you think that other marriage partner if you think that they are so much happier than you honey you are wrong because you know people only think that the grass is so much greener in someone else's you know backyard but you do not know what actually is happening behind the closed doors so go out observe other people see dynamic of other uh, you know, uh, couples of other of other people, and then when you come back home, maybe you will discover that your current love partner is not that bad at all. This is one thing which might happen, and because every single story always goes vice versa, maybe this is your husband going out talking with his friends, and or maybe this is him observing and comparing you with someone else. And saying, you know, coming home and saying, honey, guess what? I just fall in love back with you again. This could happen, you know. So many Virgos, I can see clearly. You really think that you that the best part of your world, the best, the best age, the best years, the best years of your life are already behind your back. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so, but this is this is up to you. Major kind of the chariot is saying, if you are not happy, honey, you will change your current love partner and somebody completely new might enter into your life. But if you want to take my advice, and my advice is always based 
upon that deck which is in front of me i think you should negotiate uh when it comes to you know saving your marriage especially if you already have a children you know your kid or your kids simply cannot understand you know how come all of a sudden mother does not like a father father he's not in love with our mother anymore children cannot understand that believe me they can't you know so stay where you are just for a little bit and see because i really think there is still love between you and this person next to you of course for some of you this is your marriage partner for some of you this is uh, simply your current love partner maybe you are not officially tied you know just yet so uh, future looks uh, bright because there is major kind of the chariot and chariot is vacation so you need to move you need uh, to move with your partner you see what i'm saying you know uh, there is a slight change uh, uh, when it comes to communication but still both of you are on the track so could be Libra, Gemini or Aquarius or maybe there is a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio who is waiting and still loving you. This is it. This is all there is. My dear friends, like and share this video with your friends. Book a private reading with me if you want. And make sure to subscribe on my channel. Take care.